Hi folks, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio here. Um, I recently did a video on replacing um, broken bayonets on models and I had a question about how to um, replace broken swords. Um, the bayonet technique that I used with drilling um, a hole in the broken uh, pommel, I would guess, to replace the, bl the blade um, and then making a sword blade from bit of wire and putty would work. Um, but there's another alternative here and equally um, this would work for uh, replacing lost bayonets as well. Um, I looked but I don't actually have any models who've had swords snap off and I didn't want to go out and damage one. Um, so we will make a replacement sword um, but not apply it to um, a new model. Um, so this front rank officer here um, has a nice extended arm with a sword and um, what if another officer um, had lost his sword and you wanted to replace them um, then the most straightforward ways is to make a press mold um, I have some instant mold um, here and by warming this in uh, boiling water out the kettle um, it can be deformed and we can uh, make a cast of a component of a model and then use some modeling putty to make the replacement so I'm gonna go boil the kettle um, and then we will soften this stuff up and use it to make a, a mold of the sword so my instant mold's been in there in a matter of seconds it's quite soft now got some tweezers so I'm trying to avoid uh, burning myself and as we can see totally pliable do a two-part mold so I'm going to use this on the back of the, the sword as we look at it and I'm going to incorporate the um, wrist as well if we get a little bit of the sleeve that's okay so I've got some cold water over here can just wait for this to cool this will just speed it up a bit. I'll put that back on. And we'll get the other piece of instant mold out to do the other half. Now you don't have that much working time as you're boiling water out the kettle cools but we'll need a few minutes for this to harden up I've mixed up some procreate modeling putty and um, can use green stuff or brown stuff milliput um, whatever is your preferred putty and I'm also going to use a small piece of wire and we'll pop this into the putty just extending out of the end of the mold that will act as a pin so that when we have the sword and hand we could cut the hand off the model drill into the wrist and insert this pin to secure the new putty sword um, modeling putty can always be um, a bit sticky so using some tools to move it around is useful. Um, a bit of water can be helpful um, if you find it is sticking. Um, we'll fill the moulds and then we will squeeze the two halves together. I'll give that a few hours overnight to set. Right, we're back with a hopefully dry uh, putty sword in here. Uh, big unveiling time. So there's a bit of unwanted uh, putty flash around the outside. The 
the sleeve we're not going to require. It's not cast the best. But we can cut this off. We won't need that. So I'll just bring in my cutting mat, get rid of the excess. So finished result to show off there. It's a pretty good replica. The casting is never as, as crisp as the, the metal, but um, in a pinch, if you are short a sword the, or a bayonet, you could use this for, or any other component on the model. Um, doing a press mold and using some modeling putty is a good option. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.